You could be serving in a church. You could be in a position doing something. But if God called you to do something else, you could be in disobedience. Let's talk about religious activity, because Jonah is not the one we would think to be disobedient. Yes, because we've read the story, guys. But before, before Jonah was in the book of Jonah, he was in, I believe, 2 Kings. And we see that, that he was talking uh, to, I believe it was Jehoam, and giving him a proclamation. So he was doing the will of God. So this was a guy who was doing religious activity. He was in a status uh, position in, in, I guess, the church, the temple, um, God's family. Because a lot of times we look at it, oh, oh, they're being disobedient because they're way out there. But no. In fact, even if Jonah had gone and preached over in Tarshish or some other place, he'd be disobedient. Because God said, go to Nineveh. So anything other than going to Nineveh is not what God called him to do. So what's crazy is, at the end of the day, I'm not going to be able to tell you if you're being disobedient or not. Yes, there are some general principles, okay, because there, there's a little bit of judging one another that Paul encourages, and there are things that are pretty standard, but for the other things, because there's a lot that is not mm -hmm. black and white, okay, the only people that would know if you're being obedient or not is you and God. That's sure. it. Because only you know yeah. what God said to you. And... Um, I know there's a lot of different examples of this, but let's just say offering and giving. Um, you could take that offering plate and put money in and still be disobedient because God told you a different amount or told you to give it somewhere else or whatever the situation is. Yeah. You could be serving in a church. You could be in a position doing something, but if God called you to do something else, you could be in disobedience.